All right, folks, we're talking about the Knockouts World title this morning. I am back on my normal setup, so sorry for yesterday when I was talking about the World title. had to do it from the cell phone. Back to the normal setup, and we're talking the Knockouts title that was presented to Trinity. And this this one right here, this is the one. This really had that wow factor that I was kind of kind of saying was missing from the world title for me initially, even though, I, again, world title looks great. Um, I'm not discounting that at all. It's a beautiful title. I'm strictly talking about that just initial wow factor when he pulled it out. This title looks amazing. The white strap looks excellent. And I, when I was talking about the tag team titles and I said, you know, the red strap I was like, I don't think it's going to look good on everybody. It to me, they were more reminiscent of the knockouts tag team titles than, you know, male titles. That's just just my opinion on the whole thing. But the white strap works with anybody. You can put that around anybody's waist. That is more of a neutral color. And you even see here in the thumbnail, Trinity's got yellow and pink going on, and, and the white looks great against it. So this was the title that they knocked out the park. They all look good, but this one right here, this is special. And they they did manage to capture a little bit, little, little, little bit of what made the uh, the previous knockouts title look good. And, and I was a fan of that one, too. I really like the knockouts title. But this one right here, this is um, this is prestigious. You you just you just look at it, and you know that this freaking means something. You see the title that you know Gail Kim wore and held so many times. Like that's what you see here, and I think that's kind of what's maybe missing from the world title, from the male world title. You're not you're not um I don't know that you're like really tying it into the lineage of who held it, but this one. I think you can actually see, you know, it, it's, they it just, I'm, I'm almost like speechless. This, this belt is so beautiful. So Trinity uh, will be dropping this title. I can freaking assure you. I think we all agree on that one. I don't think we see a scenario where she keeps it. There's really no reason for it. And I've been saying from the very beginning, Trinity will lose one match in this company and it's the title match. Maybe they get a, a rematch out of her. I don't think so because she probably wants to do the Royal Rumble or they want to try to get her for it. But I've been saying forever, she will lose one match. And I'll talk about this more when I preview the show. I don't know that the Jordan heel turn that I've been predicting, I don't know that it happens now because we know Trinity's leaving. It's one thing if Trinity needs someone to feud with, but I don't think that's what's going to happen now. So. Um, we'll see. We'll see. We've got a couple days till the pay-per-view and this tr title looks great on Trinity. She's not going to hold it very long, but it looks <laughs> really good on her and um, can't wait to see the knockouts tag team titles. I think we're getting a break today and we'll see why I have a feeling that the tag team titles are because they've got an interesting pair of opponents lined up for them and um, they're just going to announce it the day of. A, that's not usually a good way to move tickets, but maybe announcing the day of is, is a way to get the chatter going a little bit further to hopefully get those pay-per-view buys. So that's probably where they're thinking. But uh, I've really got nothing else to say on this one. The, um, the title is going to change hands. It's, this is going to look great with Jordan. And um, looking forward to seeing Jordan Grace's title reign.